Well, the country of Gabon is shocked and stunned over the news of the country's foreign minister, Michael Musa Adamo, who died suddenly Friday, January 20th in a cabinet meeting. He was also the former ambassador to the United States. We're going to get into all the details of it in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell. Subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, I remind you guys, a couple different ways you could help support my ministry here. One, you can leave a super thanks down below. You can do a one-time donation there. Also, leave a comment. That'll be put up to the top so I can see that, respond back to you guys. Or you can help me out with my goal for the month of January, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We did not hit our goal for December, so we're really hoping with your help we can make it happen here in January. We're almost there. We got three signups so far, looking for two more. Plus, when you sign up there, you get alerted for all of my content. Very important. If you guys only watch my videos to the YT alerts, you're going to miss a ton of content. So go to Patreon to never miss a thing. Also there, you can leave your comments on these videos completely censorship-free. No worry about YT blocking or removing what you guys are saying. Go there, have a nice free-flowing discussion on these topics with no interference, no nonsense, no trolls. You guys could send me direct messages too. So check it out, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Big thank you to everybody already contributing. And those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Well, 10 years is how long that Michael Musa Adamo had served as the ambassador to the United States, wrapping up that job in 2020. But he would go on to become the country's foreign minister, but also special advisor to Gabon's president. The news coming out, however, that during a cabinet meeting on Friday morning, he was in attendance there and reportedly he started not feeling well. He was sitting down there in his chair. All of a sudden, he collapsed right there during the meeting. He was immediately rushed off to the hospital and despite best efforts to try and revive him, they were unsuccessful and he died there at the scene of the hospital. They have already determined now that the cause of his death was in fact a heart attack. And, you know, it just fits with a long list of others that we have seen over this past year that have just died suddenly, have dropped, whether they're athletes, whether they're politicians, entertainers, doesn't matter. The end result has been the same. And you always have to ask the question, you know, was the pinchy involved here in any way? I'm not saying that it is. I'll never be, I, I'm never going to come on here and say 100% that I know, you know, the exact reason of what led to someone's death. But, you know, we can take a look at these patterns and see that there could be a possible link there. Plenty of tributes have been pouring in for Michael Musa Adamo, uh, not just in his own country, but also all around the world, even in the United States. Again, he served as, you know, the U.S. ambassador for 10 years uh, and so be in prayer for his family at this time and the whole country of uh, Gabon who have lost this leader who um, I've, I've gone through some of the uh, um, you know some of the uh, the tweets and everything that people are leaving and just the tributes coming in and um, a lot of nice things being said about him so I'll put that all down below in the description for those who would like to take a look at that but what I want to do right now is I want to end this video here on hope. And that's something I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. You know, not only do I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, we keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on in the news. But we also are doing it all because we're trying to get people to Jesus Christ. You know, we're living in the last days and he is coming back soon. And, you know, if you're someone that's watching this video right now and you have not yet given your life to Christ, I want to give you the opportunity to do that right now. You know, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so this is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways. But 
to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Be in prayer again for the entire family of Michael, Musa, Adamo, that God would be with them all and bring them peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.